morning you guys today is gonna be a day in the life today is sunday jeff had to go into work for a few hours so he's already there i think it's like eight o'clock and he's supposed to be working till noon so i have the kids by myself until then we have plans to go to charlotte today to go look at a piece of furniture we have been eyeing this furniture store online and it looks like they carry a lot and it's really nice quality things at like a discounted price it almost looks like they take the inventory that like the traditional stores don't sell and then they sell it if that makes sense if you're new here i hope you stick around and subscribe my name is taylor and my channel i share hauls and favorites like all my favorite products and then i do content like this day in the life type of video so i hope you guys stick around and subscribe i upload three days a week so yesterday was a fun day so a bunch of the women on my street we went and did like a painting little party um, I don't know if you guys have this where you are, but it's called Hip Hip Hooray, where you can paint like different door hangers. So I'll show you mine. And I also need your opinion because I painted it and I left because I had to go relieve Jeff. So my neighbor brought it home for me and I noticed that they didn't end up adding some of the detail to it. So I really don't want to be like that person and call up there and be like, hey, you guys didn't finish like adding the like little touches to it, um, but I also paid for it. So I like, I feel like I need to get what I paid for. <laughs> but you guys are currently propped down on a bunch of ingredients because today I want to make a chili. I have been totally in the fall mood. It's been cooling down here significantly. Let me know in the comments of like where you live, it's cooling down. It's been in the high 60s, which has felt so great and refreshing. This weekend, I also decorated for fall. I kind of got carried away, I really wasn't planning on it, but I brought down all my totes from upstairs in the attic and just went to town one night. Um, over here, I'll show you guys, but I have a little buffet table with all of my Halloween decor on it. I wasn't sure like what I wanted to do if I wanted to decorate for Halloween in September or in October Again, I kind of got carried away. So and I just made some coffee I bought Starbucks's like fall spice or fall blend and honestly I'm not really like a huge fan, but because it's cooling down. I feel like I can actually drink Wow Hot coffee again. So let me cater to him for a minute and then I'll take you guys around and show you my fall decor. I think he's good for like 30 seconds. So while he's hanging out, let me show you my Halloween decor. And if you missed my Target fall shop with me, I got this mirror. It is gorgeous for the price. I think it was only like $70, which for a big oversized mirror like that is nothing and i love all the detail on it so this is all my halloween decor and i did show all this stuff in that video too but this actually is a really sentimental piece so my mom actually painted that she told me whenever i had kids that she would like hand it down to me but we discovered that the light in her little cauldron here is broken so i'm hoping my father-in-law can fix it for us when he comes down in a couple weeks um and then you fill it with beads and it glows she needs a little candlestick and my mom said that she had an apple in her hand i don't remember the apple so i need to find her an apple this i picked up from kirkland so we'll start that when october starts we have this like webbing that i got from target i believe last year this is from target dollar spot Home goods from last year, although I did see that they had something very similar to it this year, and I actually prefer that one, but uh, Target Dollar Spot. This was from, this was my mom's that she gave me as well. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond, I believe. It was a candle holder thing. Like there was a little thing that came down that melted the wax and there was a candle, but this broke off, which I think is fine. Like you can't really tell. And then I just put like a little pumpkin down there. This was from the Target, Target Dollar Spot. And then I'm going to put our Halloween picture from last year in here. I actually just ordered a bunch. I wouldn't say a bunch. It was like a handful, half a dozen pictures off of Amazon photos. I've never used them before. For. I feel like when I use CVS and Walgreens, the quality of the pictures never comes out good. Last time I used Costco and I really like liked the quality of the photos, but it took them forever to deliver it to them. And I'm very uh, anxious to fill these picture frames. So I hope that they come here this week so that I can add those like final touches. Peyton and I are making some pancakes. I found this pancake mix at Target. This is their Kodiak cake and their pumpkin flax flavor. Peyton didn't really eat too much of her breakfast, so I thought if I made her pancakes that she would sit down and eat, because I feel like the morning time is really the only time she'll have a meal. She'll sit down to have a meal, otherwise she just wants to snack, which sounds like her mother. 
oh so yesterday i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram or not if not i'll put my like handle on the screen and down below jeff and i recorded a fall snack taste test so anyways we recorded that fall snack video it was super cute we answered some questions we got on instagram but the files last night i went to go start editing it files got corrupted so that was a total bummer and we had fun taste testing all the pumpkin fall things what i'm going to do instead i did a poll on instagram is if you guys wanted us to do like a chatty car like q a so we're gonna do that instead because surprisingly everybody said yes i thought you guys would have been like skip it nobody cares i'll be recording that today as well so this is going up on monday if you watch this on the day that it goes live that video will be up on wednesday one thing i'll say about these pancakes is they are super fluffy and the entire house smells like thanksgiving day it smells like the most delicious pumpkin pie do you like the pumpkin pancake yeah. i love this time of year it's just such like a nostalgic time of year for me especially because last year i was pregnant with kelvin so it's giving me like all the sweet memories i don't know do you guys have any like really sentimental like fall christmas memory super random but i just shared this on instagram as well it's like a little tip if you have little babies um still like in the baby food stage and you still have your little spoons around save them because they are like the perfect coffee stirs they lay in there like the perfect length they stir it really nice it's like a little grippy bottom so it's not like scraping your coffee mug i don't know i feel like it's the little things in life but peyton is at her little table eating breakfast so i thought i would take this time to show you like the fall decor in the home if i can still find anything i'll link it down below but i was so sad because yesterday peyton and i did a little quick trip to kirkland's to buy something and i'll show you that but they were already switching everything over for christmas i'm like it's not even october let me enjoy this time of year before we move into christmas it was a little crazy so we just hung this jeff and our neighbor hung it it's massive it takes up this whole blank wall. I love it so much. It's from Ballard Designs. It is a pretty penny, but totally worth it if you have like a big blank slate or like wall you need to fill up. Up here, we just have some roses. These are real roses. And then these little woven pumpkins, it came in a set of three are from Hobby Lobby. And then I have one up on the mantle. And I think I put the other one back in the box because I didn't need it. That sign is from the Target Dollar Spot. These little gourds are from Target Dollar Spot. I think that's from Home Goods like years ago. And I actually wasn't going to decorate that top shelf. What I plan to do, I need to wait, but I wanna get two corbels and then in the middle do photo albums, like old school nostalgic photo albums. To me, there's just like nothing better than like holding a physical photo and having like a beautiful book. Yes, the beautiful books are very pretty to look at, but I feel like, I don't know, being able to like flip the pages, hold the pictures and take them out if you wanted to, it's okay. We used to do that all the time at my grandma's and it like just gives me, I don't know, all the feels. And then the second shelf has a wedding picture. Jeff and I, this frame is Kate Spade. I think that was a wedding gift. This is a Bath and Body Work little candle thing. And then these I picked up from Kirkland. So I have a short one and then a tall skinny one. And I like these ones because like the little candle flickers like move so it looks a little bit more realistic. Scrabble, this is actual Scrabble. I got this at TJ Maxx a few years ago and it reminds me of my grandma because she loves Scrabble. And I don't actually play it but I just use it for like propping decor. I just got this at Target. Same thing for this pumpkin, the ceramic pumpkin I got from Target. They have two colors but I like that one. I like corally orange color. I thought it was different. Target dollar spot. I think last year. This pumpkin I got from Hobby Lobby a couple days ago. This is what Peyton and I picked up from Kirkland's yesterday. Little pumpkins are from Pier 1. And then at night, like the little candle. And then I told you I ordered a bunch of new pictures, so I'm putting a newborn picture of Kelvin in here. And this frame, I can't remember where I got that. Sorry if you can hear Secret Life of Pets, but this garland, oh, it's so beautiful. I showed this in my fall haul. This is from Kirkland's. It has this plaid ribbon on it, these white daisies, pumpkins, and then two random little like golden pumpkins. You can't really see them. This is a candle hold holder, but I just placed it there to kind of hold that piece back.
Okay, so the kids are napping right now. I just put some makeup on, drink some coffee, but while I drink this, I thought that I would have like a little coffee chat with you guys because I have some things to say. Not that any of you really, well, maybe you care because that's why you're watching it. But I just wanted to come on here and say like, I want you guys to know that my channel is never going to be this like perfect, how do I want to say this? It's, I want this to be like a real place that moms and women can go to to feel like they can relate to somebody. I don't know why I'm getting so emotional right now, probably because I'm just like, feel like I'm burnt out. Being a transplant and being in North Carolina away from friends and family, I just feel really burnt out sometimes with the kids and I feel like I wasn't expecting to cry, whoa. I just feel like huge mom guilt when I get frustrated with them, but I just feel like really burnt out. And even when we get babysitters, I'm so thankful for their help, but it's not the same. Like just being able to like relax in my home, in bed with no worries, having to take care of them. And I feel like it's always hard, no matter like how old your kids are, they're, you're always hitting like a hard stage in motherhood or parenthood. But I feel like because they're both so little and so close together in age, it's like, even harder it feels i just feel like huge mom guilt because peyton is getting to the age where like we have to start disciplining if she's not listening and it's awful <laughs> having to discipline them because they get so upset but you know you have to she likes to test her boundaries which is totally normal for this age but it leads us to like disciplining her and we've been doing like the timeout thing which seems to work like if we put her in a corner like on a timeout chair or something I'm sorry I'm a hot mess but I feel like I can really like talk to you guys like this is almost therapeutic for me I am not like a cool mom I'm not a Pinterest mom by any means why am I so emotional oh my gosh I don't know if I'm about to start soon or what is up I try my best to give the kids like the memories that will last a lifetime but I'm a regular mom I have breakdown moments like this I feel burnt out I feel mom guilt while I try to like inspire, I don't even know if inspire is the right word. While I try to give you guys like tips and tricks and try to help you, like I also want to be relatable because when I moved to North Carolina, I felt so alone that I was like watching YouTube around the clock because I felt like I had friends. I'm gonna say starting my period soon because this is so abnormal. Normally I just like pull up my bootstraps and continue going, but this is like waterworks. Maybe I'll feel a lot better after I let out a good cry. Yeah, anyways, I want you guys to feel like you have a friend if you feel alone because I felt that way when we moved to North Carolina. So I watched like Tiffany Beeston all the time and Bits of Brie or Brianna Kay. Yeah, it's just so hard you guys it's so hard being a mom and you don't really like know what you signed up for until you're in the thick of it you know what I mean and I know things will get easier in some regard as they get older but like Calvin is just such a needy baby he's so sensitive oh my gosh he's so sensitive like if he like if he, I don't know why you would ever do this but if you like flicked him like his shoulder he would like burst into tears he's so sensitive Peyton's like thick as nails the girl could like face plant on her head and she would get back up and say I'm okay and start running <laughs> I feel so bad for Peyton because I know Calvin is like so whiny and it can get on anybody's skin to hear that all day long I love my child to death sometimes but that's all you hear all day long it starts to feel like you're in an insane asylum so poor P like if it irritates me I'm sure it irritates her so she gets like she starts to feed off of that energy and it's like this spiral effect and it's just hard like it's hard going out with two kids like to run errands or to take them like to a park or something because the way that the world is right now i am so paranoid especially with like the whole like child sex trafficking thing and everything that's coming to light right now it's terrifying like if i were to take both i there's literally impossible for me to have my eyes on both kids the entire time we're gone of course when i'm out to a grocery store or to a park or out like running errands the immediate thing i go through my head is like oh my god if i'm not holding her hand the entire time somebody's gonna come and like rip her from me it almost seems like delusional that that would even happen but 
it happens because there's stories coming out that that happens and i saw the most terrifying video on facebook the other day somebody snatching a little girl from her mom this just got super deep and this is not where i was expecting this video to go so i sincerely apologize but like if you guys are having those paranoid thoughts just know that it's normal because i'm having those paranoid thoughts as a parent and a mother anyways what do we have left to do today on a lighter note and the babysitter should be over in about an hour so i need to get their like meals prepped for when we're gone i want to be back before calvin's bedtime so that i can bathe him and get him to bed and she doesn't have to do it i'm really looking forward to going to florida in two weeks when my in-laws are here to watch the kids that way i feel like i can kind of regroup just give myself the needed time and space to be a better mom and parent to my kids so anyways Thank you for listening. If you stuck through that with me, it was kind of like the floodgates open. So Jeff and I are on our way to the furniture store right now. I'm really excited because I don't know if I mentioned this, but there was a love seat, like a chase love seat we saw online that we were hoping would work out for the playroom because the couch we have up there right now, we've had since our old house, I think it's like five or six years old that we've had it, but it was actually left by the previous owners of that home. But anyways, the kids have like really just done a number on it. It's, it's time. Yeah, it's about time we look into something else. So I'm curious to see what else is there just for browsing sake, but we're hoping that that specific Chase love seat is still there. It's really pretty, but anyways, I'll take you inside if you guys want to shop along. But we're gonna go ahead and start filming our chatty car Q&A. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. That way you don't miss out on that video that's gonna be posted on Wednesday. I stand by you when you're falling when the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together What goes up must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around And nothing's ever lifting me higher Than a touch of your sweet desire Okay, so we just left. If you guys are local to the Charlotte area, we highly recommend coming here. I, we, I, I can speak for myself. I was blown away by the selection they had, like quality pieces. The specific love seat we wanted was sold, but the woman we were working with found out that they had one in the back that had like a rip in it that she said that she could fix and that they would give us money off of it because of the defect. So she's gonna send me a picture of it on Tuesday with it fixed to see if it's still something that we want to move forward with which works out because it gives us time to sell the couch in the living room now but it's like basically a huge warehouse with tons of kitchen sets bedroom sets couches like really nice couches the love seat we ended up going with if you guys are familiar with the bachelor and bachelorette Sean Lowe and his wife Catherine I didn't know this they have a furniture line but it was actually a piece that they have it was part of their collection highly recommend very fair prices I looked up that same love seat on Wayfair and it was $1100 $1, and then the one that we're getting is like 400 super fair for prices highly recommend so jeff thinks i'm crazy for recording this but if any of you guys are weird with numbers let me know in the comment section i know my dad's into numbers but jeff and i got engaged on 8 22 14 okay turbo car and peyton's birthday is 7 14 and calvin's birthday is 11 22. this is from the person they can't do math no, but I just think like some things just aren't coincidences. I mean, that's kind of a, a weird coincidence that the day we got engaged, both of the numbers are in a kid's birthday. No? Is that weird? Can, can you show up your sunglasses real quick? <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Why? Tell me my wife is not Cruella de Vil with those things. 
these are it. Everybody's wearing them. No. Those are, those are tough. Those are tough. Tough looks. You really just bit my lip and now it's like really sore. But anyways, do you guys believe in numbers? <laughs> do you believe, what kind of question is Like, do you, do you believe, believe in coincidences or not? Like, I feel like that's just like- I think like, numbers are a myth that are given to us by the government. Do you believe in numbers? I don't mean like that. <laughs> but it's just weird, no? Welcome to Peyton and Mama's cooking show. I'm gonna make that soup, chili recipe. I gotta pull it up on my phone. I will leave, I just found it off of Pinterest. I'll leave the recipe down below if you guys are interested. It is a Instant Pot recipe, but I'm sure if you guys don't have one, you can use a crock pot or do it over the stove. crying once in this video but twice the onion got to me meanwhile my thick as nails daughter over here isn't crying and I knew this too if you guys didn't know you're supposed to leave the stem on so it doesn't affect your eyes Mom? and I didn't do that this time we can make it together what goes up busting down there's lots of friendly faces all around and nothing's ever lifting What are they doing out here? Try. Peyton, are you working out with Daddy? Ready? Let's go, Peyton. Come on, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Come on, baby. Do it. Uh, lift it up. Uh, is that heavy? You're so strong. What's wrong? So strong. Come on. You're doing it. Okay, while they're working out, I'm gonna check the soup. Which it definitely turned out more like a soup, which is fine. Uh, oh my gosh, I haven't used this in so long. Okay, here we go. And this is what it's looking like. I accidentally put in two cans of tomatoes, which is fine because I don't like, I like tomatoes. That's what it's looking like. Probably like a cross between a soup and a chili. It says that you can use a immersion blender to turn it more into a soup, but I'm not really in a soup mood. So I'm just gonna leave it at it as is, and I feel like they'll be more filling that way too. So Peyton just went to bed. She turned into a Smurf because she decided to play with blue chalk outside. <laughs> and she was covered in head to toe blue chalk. So we just gave her a bath, put her down to bed. I'm gonna try this and let you guys know how it is. And then I'm gonna paint my nails, enjoy a beer, which I never do. You guys, I am not a drinker. I drink maybe like once or twice a month. So I'm gonna do a nice beer tonight while I edit this video for tomorrow. Super, super hearty and hot. But keeping it chunky is definitely the way to go. I could see how this could be a good soup if you wanted to puree it or like use an immersion blender with it, but it turned out super, super good. I'm gonna go check the fridge to see what kind of beer we have. Jeff said we have Oktoberfest. I don't know. Sorry for the lighting. I don't know if I've ever really had an Oktoberfest. Okay, well I guess I have no other choice because it's either an energy drink, vitamin water, Oktoberfest, a Truly, which I don't really want, and some IPAs, which I'm not gonna be drinking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you guys listening to me have my little mini breakdown. It's really nice talking to you guys and you always leave the sweetest comments and encouraging words. So thank you for that. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. We have our husband and wife Q&A going up Wednesday. And then I think I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day video on Friday. I hope you guys are having a great day. You had a great weekend and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Stand by you when you're falling, when the river is calling.